Welcome to the account solutions. We are looking at the Betty Cash system template one, the part two of this video tutorials. If you've not seen the part one of these tutorials, then you go to our website and get the copy of this part one tutorials and have a look at it before you proceed with this part two. Here we show you how to record your transactions in this um, Betty Cash template simple and very easy to use so let's assume you have made a transaction on the 1st of february 2017 the reference could be your receipt number or voucher number let's just ignore that the details is cash received from sales of jelly Name of party could be any customer, customer or anybody's name. Entry type is cash in. Account name, you go up and select um, sales. Then the amount is 200,000. Now, with this entry type, your amount appears on the cash in column. Let's assume on that same date, first of, of February 2017 we have payment for office stationery the name is tele computers the entry type will have cash out you come here and look for the account heading we have printing and stationery is 5,000 with this entry type you've paid in here the amount moves to the cash out column you can see your opening balance is 50,000 and your closing balance is showing 245,000 so with that you can go on and on to key in your transactions for the period follow the same pattern and key in all your transactions for the period so we have a transaction the period from so February to the end of March 2017. With this, we have our opening balance 50,000 and closing balance is 202,541. Now, this is what you do every day. You don't wait until the end of the month to key in your transactions. As you make expenses, you key in. As you receive money from sales and from the bank, you also what you key in the transaction. As you are keying in your transactions, you can also check for the summary. The account names you've selected here, the system helps you to summarize all your transactions into various account heads. You go to account ledgers, right click on this table header and select refresh. Once you do that, you see a table will come up here. Now this table, we have the first column showing you all the dates you've entered for your transactions this is the ref this is transaction details you've entered and these are the account heads you selected we have directors current account local transport bank one printing security salaries office expenses carriage inwards bank two and the rest of them at the end of the table you see a total of all your transactions grouped into various account heads now if you want to select for only one account head you come to this slicer up here and select let's select only for oil and oil click on fuel and oil whatever you see here is transactions for fuel and oil for february and march if you want to view all transactions you come back to this slicer and right click on this filter clear filter and you see transactions for all the days of the two months grouped into various account heads now if we want to look at only a particular month you come to your analyze using office 10 13 and 16 you select insert slicer you now select months okay 
Now you see this will appear here. Drag it up a bit. I want to view only for February. I'll just click on February. And these are all the transactions for February alone. Total for director. Then if you want to view for March, you click on March. And whatever you see here is just transactions for March. You can clear the filter. This is just the basic table that helps you to analyze and group your transactions into the various account heads you've selected. Next, let's assume we are to enter a particular transaction and we don't have the account name set up. Let's assume 1st of April 2017. We have staff welfare to ID. Select our cash out. Now come here to your account heads. We don't have any account head for staff welfare. Alright? What do you do? You go back to your account chart. Account chart go down and select look for staff welfare all right this is staff welfare select staff welfare you can see it has come up you now go back to your petty cash book and enter the account name for that transaction staff welfare the amount is ten thousand once you've done this, go back to your account ledgers, right click on the table and you refresh. Go down, you will see that 1st of April, staff welfare to ID has appeared. Then you go back to your headers and look for staff welfare. Staff welfare is here now. So this is how you bring up an account name that is not part of your initial chart of account. Now with this, um, you are good to go on using this uh, simple petty cash template. Now you can see that April has also appeared on this slicer where we have our month. So with this, you can keep maintaining your petty cash transactions from day to day and month to month. Thank you very much for watching this video. I believe it was helpful. You can go to our website and grab our other free templates to enable you to keep your records properly. Thank you and God bless you.